All right, well, there's a part missing here. I, I was able to figure out how to take out the board. There's two screws here, and then the whole seat, heat sink falls out. And uh, then you end up with, uh, you end up with this. And so the heat sink is still attached. Uh, obviously there's more heat sink when it gets attached inside there, but um, at least it's on a bar here. So all the transistors are in place and I have the whole board. So basically the transformers hook here and then this generates some voltages and then it just gets distributed. So uh, we should be able to work on this board all by itself, uh, which is nice. So let me rearrange the camera a bit, it's awkward for me, and then I'll show you what's missing. All right, lighting's not great here, but um, we can take a look. Uh, the two bridge rectifiers here, CR1, uh, CR1217 and CR1218 are missing, all right? And uh, I'm gonna blow out the camera, just about. Anyway, those are these, these are these, these two here that I previously said. Um, there's another bridge rectifier here, so we'll have to check that one out. And then some extra diodes over here, they're like uh, one or two watt diodes, we'll check those out. Um, anyway, so these are burnt to a crisp and missing. Um, if you flip the board around, uh, there's some burnt things here and there's this really powerful a big wattage resistor here and there's used to be one here and there used to be one here and they're missing and this one obviously got super super toasty and this one got super toasty there's a transistor over here that's missing um, so uh, somebody's been troubleshooting this and uh, we will have to start from ground zero and go through it uh, let's see this is our 1235 R1235, hmm, 1233, 30, 1235, 30, hmm, 12, here, 1235, that is the current, it's a 68-2-watt resistor that's on the minus 12 supply, so Something was making the minus 12 volt supply pull too much current and toasted, toasted that guy. Uh, 1224, yeah, is the plus 12. So this was on the minus 12 side, this was on the plus 12 side. R30, 1236, 30, R36, hmm. R36, 1236, 1230, oh well, we'll have to find it. Uh, 39, 38, 34, 35, 30, huh. Oh well, I'll find them. Anyway, so I'm gonna replace all of these guys here. Um, I think what I want to do next though is uh, I'm going to pull these uh, pull these transistors out of their socket. There we go. There, see how that works? And uh, I'm going to test them, see if they're all okay. All right, have it hooked up to the first transistor. And it says it's a N NPN transistor. He looks good. All right. Let's test all these guys out. And this guy, PNP. Very nice. Uh, NPN. Uh, NPN. NPN. And PNP.
So all the transistors are good. All right. Probably would have saved itself if it would have blown up one of those transistors. <laughs> but it decided to blow other things up instead. So yeah. Oh well, we'll pop it back in. I'll just leave it out for now in case I want to measure something that those guys get in the way from. Uh, we will start to have to make a parts list here for these uh, for these parts um, and make a trip to the junk store. I wonder why this one's missing. What is that one? Q1155. Q1155. These are all 12 numbers and that's a 11 number. So I will have to go print out more of the uh, more of the schematic. So it looks like they've, uh, well, maybe this part of the board is uh, power supply. This part of the board was for something else. Uh, some type of, this is sub intensity. Uh, yeah, this may have been for something else that comes out on this connector or something. Oh, oh there's a board that plugs in here. Yeah. So the way this, the way that this card goes in there, there are some ribbon, uh, ribbon cable. There, there are cable assemblies that go onto all of these outer things. And then um, here, here, and here are boards that plug in vertically. So there's a card that sits here, a card that sits here, and a card that sits here. So the card that sits here is the high voltage supply uh, that goes out here. Um, interesting. Oh well, I'll have, to I'll have to find that. But let's uh, see if we can't. Uh, I think I'll, I'll go ahead and replace all of these uh, capacitors while I'm here. I mean, since opening up twice, this thing's probably vintage. Uh, so I'll get a I'll get a whole set of capacitors to put in, and uh, let's measure a couple more diodes while we're here. There's a diode here, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, we'll go the other direction, nothing, nothing, and nothing, so those are good. There's a little uh, diode bridge here, let's check him out, uh, nothing, 0.5, nothing, Nothing. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure about this point six in that direction. He might be okay here. He might be funny. Hmm. Let's see if I can read the read the markings on him. I don't see any markings. CR1211. CR1211. CR, CR, CR1211, that guy. So he is rectifying the plus 150. Yeah, I might replace him just because just because Sierra 14 and 15 are they in the in the neighborhood 14 yeah we just measured those they were good um, but anything on the high voltage side makes me a little nervous uh, I don't want to rebuild the entire thing but I mean when you're here and the things are cheap like diodes sometimes it's better just to uh, just to replace them yeah uh, if that's a bridge, <laughs> if that's a bridge, it should be, 
measuring differently, I think. There's a diode that way. Wait a minute, there's a short that way. Oh, I'm measuring the wrong thing. There's a diode that way. No other di- I don't know about that guy. I'm not sure about him. Let's see, the AC comes in here and the DC goes out. Oh, okay, okay, so now I've got now I've got it figured out. Okay, so if the AC comes in, there'll be a diode to one of these guys. And there is, and there'll be a diode to the other guy. Which there is. Okay, then the AC comes in here, there'll be a diode to this guy which there is, and a diode to this guy, which there is. Okay, okay, so he's okay. He's okay. So, I might even have some of these bridges. I'll have to take a look at my junk bin. Um, we'll figure out what the wattages and amperages and things, but... Uh, yeah, I think this will be pretty easy to fix, if that's the only thing that's wrong with it. I mean could be that, that when this went down it blew up everything else, but makes me nervous that that resist that uh, that one's missing there. It's obviously been removed. Oh, that's a never good. That's a never good. And this guy is not really soldered down very well. That's interesting. He's just a jumper. So you notice this board. All of these resistors here, let me get something better to point with. <coughs> All of these resistors, all of these resistors, all of these resistors, these, these, those, these up here, those are all zero ohm resistors and they're just jumpers. And that's because this is a single sided board. So let's just talk about these right here. You can see these right here just go between here and here and here and they allow this one to go past. So this was one layer and then they needed to get something across there while well, they put in these zero ohm jumpers. So that's the way it's done on a, on a single sided board. Um, Here's another, here's another diode that we can measure. Why not? 0.5 and nothing. Okay, he's good. All right. Um, yeah. Uh, obviously, traces are all buggered up in this, so we'll have to put in jumpers, bypass the, uh, bypass the traces. Same over here. But that's super simple. Super duper. All right, I'll go from there.